Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about volumes of pyramids and cones. So, a little review. In the last video we did, we talked about formula for volume of a prism and cylinder. And volume of a prism or a cylinder is area of the base times the height. So, for example, if I have uh, this prism here, then I could find the volume by taking area of the base so this area times the height of the prism or the length in between the bases. So today what we're going to talk about is the relationship between uh, volume of a, a prism and volume of a pyramid. And so that you don't have to just take my word from it or for it, I have a little magic trick for you. So here I have a cube. There's a cube on all sides. Hopefully you can see it really well in the video here. So this would be a square based prism. Now this cube, if I take it apart, it becomes three pyramids, square based pyramids. And the pyramids are all exactly congruent to each other. Again, I can take these three pyramids and I can put them together, carefully put them together. And I have my prism, my cube. So from there, hopefully you can see that a volume of a prism is three times the volume of the pyramid. As long as the bases of the pyramid, so the area of the base of the pyramid and the area of the base of the prism have to be congruent. So the bases have to be congruent. Another way to think about it, the volume of a pyramid would be one third the volume of the prism. All right, or uh, one third area of the base times the height. So little little magic trick for you guys, math magic. All right, so let's look. Um, there's a volume of a pyramid, now volume of a cone if we review volume of a cylinder, it's also area of the base times the height, but in this case, the base is a circle, so I get pi r squared times the height, since area of a circle is pi r squared. And if we think about the idea that a cylinder is just a circular prism and a cone is a circular pyramid, then volume of a cone follows the same logic. Three cones, or the volume of three cones, make up the volume of a cylinder as long as the bases are the same size. So we have one third pi r squared h and a pyramid of one third area of the base times h. All right, let's look at a couple examples here. So our first example, we have the perimeter of the square base is 48 units. So it tells us that it's a square, so we know all the sides are the same. The perimeter is 48, which means 48 divided by 4 gives us 12 units for each side length. Now the slant height, which is this one here, is 10 units. We need to find the volume. So in order to get the volume, we have to find the height of the pyramid, which goes from the vertex of the pyramid down to the center of the base. It's perpendicular. So if you look, we have a little right triangle here. I have this right triangle. It's shaded on the picture here. And we have H, 10, and then this side is actually half of the side length. So we can do Pythagorean theorem, h squared plus 6 squared equals 10 squared, and 100 minus 36 is 64, so h is 8. Now that I've found the height of my pyramid, I can find the volume. It's 1 third area of the base times the height. So 1 third area of the base is 144 times the height, which is 8. So my volume ends up as 384. Now we have to look for units, and it looks like we don't have any specific units in this problem. We just have the word units. So units, and then it's volume, so it's units cubed. All right, again, if this seems like a lot for you, maybe you should go back and watch my last couple videos just to brush up on your volume formulas. 
All right, let's look at the next one. So we want to find the volume of the pyramid with square base edges, six meters, and it's a square, so they're all six, and lateral edge, five meters. So this one is going to be five meters. So again, I'm going to need to find, well, in this case, we actually have to find the slant height in order to get the height, in order to get the volume. So we have a couple things we need to find here. So first thing we should know is that the slant height, oops, sorry, the slant height is perpendicular, perpendicular to the base edge. So I can use that right triangle there, and I know this is 5L, and then half of the edge, which is 3. So um, L would be using our Pythagorean theorem, L squared plus 3 squared is 5 squared, so L is 4. Now that I have the slant height, it's just like the last problem. I have this new right triangle with my slant height, half of the base edge, and the H, and I can use Pythagorean theorem again. H squared plus 3 squared equals 4 squared. So h squared equals 16 minus 9, which is 7. So, oops, not h squared is 7, h is 7. Um, oh, no, h squared is 7. So h is the square root of 7. Okay, so now, to expand my board here. So if h is the square root of 7, then my volume is 1 third area of the base, which is 6 squared times the height, which is square root of 7, and that's going to be 12 times the square root of 7. Our units, if we go back up to the problem, were meters, so meters cubed, or approximately, if it asks you to approximate, then we would have approximately 31.7 meters cubed. All right. We have a couple more examples. So those were our pyramids. Now let's talk cones. All right, so our first cone, we want to find the volume. If we know the radius is 12 meters and the height is 14.4, so volume is one third area of the base, which is pi r squared, times the height of the cone, which goes straight up from the vertex um, down to the center of the base. And we want to leave answers in terms of pi, so we don't need to use our calculators here. All right, so volume is 1 third times pi times 12 squared times my height, which is 14.4. All right, and then if we multiply all of those together, we get 691.2 pi meters in its volume, so meters cubed. All right, and our last example, number five, or sorry, uh, B, we have find the radius of the cone if the volume is 60,094 meters cubed and the height is 25 meters. So in this case, we're going to have to go backwards a little bit. So I know that volume is one third pi r squared h. So if my volume is 68,094, that has to equal one-third pi times the radius squared times my height, which is 25. So we have to solve for the radius. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, if I put 25 over 1, I'm going to multiply everything, both sides, by 3 over 25. So that will cancel out our 25 and our one-third. So 68, um, let's see, 68 divided by, you know what, let me back up just a second. Let's just do it one step at a time. Let's multiply by 3 to get rid of the 1 third. So if I multiply by 3, I end up with 204282 equals 25 pi times r squared. And then I can divide by 25 pi. I like this better. Get rid of the fraction first, then deal with the division. All right, so now r squared is going to be approximately 2601. So r is approximately the square root of that, 
which is 51 meters. All right, so working backwards from our formula a little bit. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.